Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Virgos. Hope y'all are having a great day today, Virgos. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set, right, Virgos? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Guess what, Virgos? Whew, we have a lot to talk about. I'm serious. We, uh, whew, Where do I start? <laughs> where do I start? Virgos. Now, your ruling planet is about to go retrograde. Now, I want y'all tripping, okay? So, I need to talk to y'all ahead of time. I'm trying to get to y'all ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? Like, warn everybody. I want to make sure y'all are straight, right? That y'all 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 are not, you know, overthinking or anything or over-talking or none of that. No over anything, okay? I want to help y'all with this. So, we're going to be talking about your ruling planet going retrograde at the end of this month. Uh, we're going to be talking about this waxing moon uh, becoming more and more illuminated. And and we know that the moon governs our emotions and our moods, right? So we want to talk about that. We want to talk about the number nine. I have some tips for you all. Whew, this is a lot. It, it's a lot to talk about. But I'm so excited, Virgos. I am so excited, Virgos. I'm telling y'all, listen, you know that this is a general reading, right? This is a general reading. These cards are the Light Sears Tarot deck. And I also have these new Oracle cards that I just got because I gave away some other Oracle cards. Um, lucky winner for something else. But anyway, these are the um, these are the Earth Magic Oracle cards by Stephen D. Farmer. Yes, yes, yes. So that's the Oracle card we're going to pull today. Um, like I said, this is a general reading for my Virgos. I want to talk to y'all about a lot of things to help y'all ahead of time so that y'all don't, so that you all don't, you know, panic. Or anything like that with your ruling planet going retrograde. Coming up very soon. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yes, listen. Let's get into the I am's, right? The I am's for my fantastic Virgos. Y'all know how I feel out you Virgos. I love, love, love Virgos. I have Virgo on my team. <laughs> love Virgos. Let me tell you, I can't speak highly. I can't, I honestly... I really don't even have the words to aptly describe how I really feel about Virgos, right? Because you all are so awesome and you bring so much to this universe. But I want you all to start first saying, I am a Virgo. And I want you to say it loud and proud. I am a Virgo. I am intelligent. I am analytical. I am honest. I am reliable. I am a perfectionist. I am loyal. I am kind. I am hardworking. And I am practical. Yes, no more overthinking it. No more over speaking it. None of that. You just are who you are. Okay, Virgos? Yes. I want you to say it loud and proud. Matter of fact, your symbol is the virgin, right? Your symbol in, in, um, in astrology is the virgin. And the virgin stands for purity of purpose so that we're all crystal clear. We're all, it stands for purity of purpose, right? So you all are not in the game of life to cheat or extract from other people. You all have higher motives. You want to be of use, right? Yes, 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 yes. You all are some amazing people, right? So Virgos are not just, for well, one, Virgos, you all are money magnets. That's one. But you all are not trying to get money just for you all. You all are out here building homes. You all are here uh, uh, building uh, community shelters. You all are here just doing your thing. So no more apologies for being great, okay, Virgos? Just no more apologies. <laughs> just stop it. Stop apologizing. If people get you, they do. If they don't, that is not your problem. Okay, let's get into this reading. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Virgos. <laughs> in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Virgos? Yes, gods and goddesses. I want you all to recognize that you all are creators. We're all creators, but see, here's the thing. Some people know that they're a creator and some people are waiting for other people to create opportunities for them. You all are creators, okay? Say it loud and proud. I am a creator. I am a God. You're not trying to be somebody else's God and you're not going to make them your God. You are a God. Yes. Yes, you are. Your most likable trait is that you're conscientious. Yeah. You all are not daydreamers. You all are day doers. Getting it done out here. <laughs> Y'all out here getting it done. Ooh. Who wouldn't want to have Virgo in their chart? Who wouldn't want to have Virgo in their chart? Doesn't have to be your sun sign, moon rising, or Venus. But if it's somewhere in your chart, hey, celebrate. Virgos. Yes, here we go, Virgos. Let's get into it. 
the moon card yes that intuition is on a thousand right now so y'all dreams could be very vivid right now this right here mm -hmm. dreams coming through but i'm gonna tell y'all why because y'all ruling planet is about to go retrograde here we go seven of cups Mm -hmm. this is overthinking see you got all these stuff going on in front of you but because you've had some snakes in your past you're kind of sort of overthinking this thing you're you're this this card right here it, on every deck means temptation right you're tempted to trust people but because you've been bitten by a couple of snakes in the past you don't necessarily trust people but what it really says virgo is that you don't trust yourself you don't trust the god in you I want you all to start trusting yourselves. I mean, really, really trusting yourselves to a point where you say, listen, hey, if the person tried to screw me over or tried to bite me like a snake, they ended up biting themselves because now they cut themselves out of my life. Yes. The lover's card. This is duality first and foremost, right? So you all know I don't, unless you specifically ask me for a love reading and people usually do ask me when we get to our personal readings, I typically... We'll focus on love of self more so than anything, right? Because love of self will help you to be able to see through a lot of stuff, right? I mean, like really loving yourself, really nurturing yourself. So you all are nurturers by default, right? This is you giving yourself the nurturing that you would give to other people, right? So here we go. This is love of self. This is Gemini card. By the way, moon card is Pisces. Yes. So here we have the star. Yep, we're in the age of Aquarius, and this is Aquarius card, the star card. You all have healing energy, right? You all don't need to have tricky situations, and I'm reading the cards as I'm talking to you. You don't have need to have tricky situations in your life. You don't need to distrust anybody, right? It is what it is. If your intuition tells you something about a person, boom, go with it. There's no second-guessing yourselves anymore. You all are too conscientious, too gifted in this universe to even second-guess yourselves. If, some, if something is off about a person, guess what? Virgos, you are usually dead spot on, okay? Every single Virgo that I've done a personal reading for is spot on, spot on. The only reason you all second guess yourselves is because you all are earth signs. Let's just be just crystal clear. Because you all are earth signs and it needs to make sense. It needs to make logical sense to the earth in you, right? But you all are usually spot on. Go with your first intuition, okay? A lot of you all are entrepreneurial minded, entrepreneurs, visionaries, leaders. Yes. Yes. Entrepreneurs. Everybody on my team is a leader. Every person on my team is a leader. Yes. Yeah. You're an entrepreneur. I encourage people, start your own business, do your thing, right? Go out here and bless this rest of this world. People are waiting for creators. Yes. This is you, Virgo. Go on out here and do it. This right here is the emperor card. Now, the emperor card is a person who is very ambitious, someone who knows how to take charge of situations, someone who is very structured thinking. It also represents a person who's a father figure. So it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. This is a father figure, right? It doesn't matter if you have children or you don't. People look at you as a father figure, okay? Yes, 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 okay? I need y'all to stand up. Come on, Virgos. And I want y'all to put some comments in there too because people need to understand just how powerful you all are and what you bring to this universe. Let's talk about the number nine. We're going to interject the number nine in here because y'all know as a numerologist, I love talking about numbers and how we can insert numbers into these readings. Now, before we get to that, I want to let you know that your ruling planet is going to be retrograde very, very soon. So these cards right here are telling me that your dreams are coming through very vividly. Some people are having dreams. Sometimes you wake up, you don't remember what the dream is about, but you know you had a dream about something, right? This is a time to clear the energy around you. So those three, those dreams could come through crystal clear. This is a time where you're focused on healing yourself, right? Healing yourself to a point where you, where you don't have to distrust anybody, Hey, if a person shows you who they are, that's just who they are, good or bad. It doesn't matter. If a person, even if you thought at first, well, I don't really know I've been hurt in the past. I've been bit by snakes in the past. I'm not sure if I can trust this person. If the person is consistently showing you that they are a good person, then hello, okay? You're not waiting for them to do something bad, right? That's a person who is just like, you can't, you cannot clearly, um, 
you can't clearly receive the nurturing that you've been giving to other people because you're waiting for somebody to do something wrong to you. No, you don't need to do that. If a person is consistently showing you that they're a good person, guess what? They're a good person who may have had a bad day. If a person is showing you that they're consistently shady, that they're lying, they're inconsistent, their behavior doesn't match, align with their words, then that's who they are. Okay, this is not rocket science. <laughs> this is this, this, just who they are. We've all come in contact with people who may have had a bad day, but for the most part, they're a good person, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is about you clearing that energy space. Some of you all have been in relationships with people who are about to fall, and they're about to fall hard, and there's something in there, in, there's, there's something in your intuition that's telling you, and it's also telling them too, hey, I better treat the Virgo right, or else my life is about to be in a complete freaking shambles. <laughs> Virgo, listen, I'm not laughing at people. I'm really, really not. But people better recognize you screw over a Virgo, then, hey, okay, you're about to start drowning. Just like this sit right, this situation right here is drowning. And so there are some people who are getting these visions that are seeing that, hey, if I screw over a Virgo, this particular Virgo who has been on the up and up, this person has been really, really kind and they're nice to me, they're stable, the whole nine yards, that... The universe could repay me. And it's one thing about the universe and the karma. It's one thing about your own creating your own karma. That's not something you can run away from, right? Good or bad. You create your own karma. It's nothing you can you cannot run away from it. So again, this is about you healing, Virgo. This right here is about you healing, really listening to your intuition, falling deeper in love with yourself, and recognizing just how much of a powerhouse you are. This is the emperor, recognizing just how much of a powerhouse you are, right? Some of you all have Aries in your chart. This is the Aries card. But again, you don't need to distrust people. They'll tell you exactly who they are. And you all are usually spot on. I'm telling you, just listen to your intuition. Even if it's something telling you, oh, something's not right about this person, you don't have to overthink it. You don't have to over talk it, right? That's the Mercury, right? That's the Gemini and Virgo. That's Mercury's ruling planet. I mean, uh, that's Gemini and Virgo's ruling planet, Mercury, which is about to go retrograde. By the way, just want to let you all know, if there, I don't want you all to overthink things. I don't want you to over talk stuff. When your planet goes retrograde, it can start, communication can get a little fuzzy, right? This is where I need you all to, if if you all are, are, are if people are committed to getting into arguments with you all or trying to start some stuff with you all, you just back up. You just, just back up, Virgo, because it's going to pass. This retrograde is going to pass. It's going to go station direct, right? But again, I want you all to just back up from the situation and say, okay, I'm not going to overthink this thing. Maybe because my ruling planet is uh, retrograde right now. This person feels like they need to get into an argument or some kind of uh, disagreement with me or whatever the case may be. You said, nope, nope, mm -mm. nope, nope, nope. I'm going into protection mode. I'm going to give the nurturing to myself that I would have given to other people. Let's talk about the number nine for a second. The number nine is a number of transformation. Something needs to end to begin again, right? The, thus, nine can regenerate itself over and over and over again, and it exhibits great determination. The number nine symbolizes evolution and an enhancement of psychic abilities and clairvoyance. Again, we're stepping into the vibration of this number. It doesn't have to be your life path number. People step into the vibration of the number one every single day, right? This is the first day I'm going to try this. This is the first day I'm going to do that. The first day I'm going to start this. It's a crossroad, so I'm going to go this way. First day, beginning, right? People step into the vibration of the number one every single day. So you can also step into the vibration of the number nine, right? So this is enhancement of your psychic abilities and your clairvoyance. And so um, a number nine person is warm. They're outgoing and loving with a dramatic flair to it. So they have a very magnetic personality that allows him or her to get along with pretty much anybody, right? Nines are very compassionate, romantic, filled with unconditional love. They're very kind. They're empathetic. They're very patient. They're tolerant and wise. Again, you can step into the vibration of any number. Number nines are very sweet natured souls and they don't like to see anybody in pain. Number nines also, they already know when people are suffering, right? And so they will reach out to a person because they truly genuinely care. So here's the thing too. Like I said, your ruling planet is going retrograde. So there could be some 
some static in some communication. Just recognize it before it even happens. Don't overthink it. That's what's that's what's happening, right? So so let's say for instance, Virgo, you're you are um, connecting with a person who is going through whatever it is that they're going through, right? They're going through baby mama, baby daddy drama, ex this person drama, job acting crazy, you know, family stuff, right? Or this could be a complete stranger who is just committed to misunderstanding. It doesn't even matter what it is. Recognize when planets go retrograde and those planets govern certain parts of ourselves. Um, Mercury is, like I said, the planet of communications and thinking, right? It's the messenger planet. So I don't want you all to get caught up in messages that could be coming across, but verbal communication, nonverbal communication, I don't want you to overthink anything. Again, get to your place of peace. Whatever it is, you got to listen to high vibration music, grab your crystals and gemstones, whatever it is for you to get to peace where you're not overthinking things, right? Step into the vibration of number nine, right? We're talking about stepping into the vibration of numbers. Yes, you don't have to this right here. You don't have to second guess yourself, right? This person doesn't necessarily trust their decisions because yeah, the last time you, you trusted somebody, they bit you. They were a snake, right? They bit you, right? Focus on your business. Focus on your business. Focus on your entrepreneurial spirit. Focus on being a leader. Focus on being a visionary. Yes, situations don't have to be tricky. Let's get to the second part of this reading. Let's get to the second part of this reading. Focus on you building your empire, okay? That's all you're focused on because, again, we have no control. If Now, if I meet a person that pull one of these planets out the sky, hey, I want to shake your hand. <laughs> They either always going retrograde or station direct. So listen, we can't, we can, we have no control over that. The only person we have control over is who us, because we are gods. We are creators. We create the life that we want, right? So we cannot control how another person sees us or what they think about us or what they're trying to do to us. We have no control over that, nor should you even want to for real, because you're not getting a true authentic person when you're trying to control them. So you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that at all. Yeah. Let people just be them. Whatever. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let me tell y'all something. Look. Let me show you something. We have the Eight of Cups. Walking away from something, right? Again, letting some, inf letting some relationships just die out. Just, hey, listen. It is what it is. I'm not sitting here arguing. I'm not going back and forth with you about some craziness. We're not doing that, okay, Virgo? Not doing that, okay? You have too much. You have too much to do for the world. You have too much, too many, too much of an empire to build. Too much, you know, helping of the rest of the world out. You don't have time to just give energy to nonsense. You just don't. You just, I mean, for real. Let's just keep it for real. Like you don't have, you don't have time for that, right? So here's your thing. Yes is our yes, your no's are no's. This is you, Virgo, tapping into the duality, the other side of your duality, right? Remember, we talked about this being duality, you making yourself your twin flame, right? Your yeses are yes, your no's are no's. Things are crystal clear. You are meticulous. You are no nonsense. You are very direct, okay? It just is what it is. You don't have time to play around with people anymore. This energy right here is Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Remember, the Mercury, your ruling planet, governs both it's the it's uh it's Gemini and Virgo's ruling planet is Mercury, which is about to go retrograde. Okay, so again, you don't have time to you don't have time to mix words with people. It is what it is. Okay, yes, you have too much empire to be building. You don't have to, you don't have time for foolishness. Like I said, if people are committed to misunderstanding you, let the relationship die off and just you keep on moving upward and onward, onward and upward. Right? Yes, let the relationship go. Here we go, tower moment. Anybody who is trying to hurt you, they're only hurting themselves. And guess what? For you, Virgos, you'll get wind of it. Watch. You will get wind of it. Somebody's going to tell you that, hey, oh, remember so-and-so? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They lost their business. They lost their house. This happened. It's like all oh, hell is breaking loose in their lives. And guess what? You're protected, Virgos. You are protected right here. Boom. You're protected. Yes. All hell is breaking loose in some people's lives. Yeah. Uh, your ex. 
Yeah. Uh huh. You were some of y'all were in a challenging relationship. That's what this means. Mental dexterity, right? You don't look like what you've been through. Some of y'all exes are really going through, and I'm talking about ex family members, ex love interest, ex whomever. They're going through some mess right now. They can't get their life together. But guess what, Virgo? Not your problem, <laughs> right? Not your problem. This person is walking a tightrope while reading a book. Yeah. Uh huh. Coming up with all sorts of ideas. They're free. They're happy. Hair blowing in the wind. Everything. Right. Yes, all, you see this person looking down at the tightrope. They're not even worried about falling. That is because you are protecting yourself, Virgo. You're not even thinking about, you're not, you're not even, the, the concept of falling or failing is just foreign to you because you know that you, you know who you are. Yeah. When your heart broke from that person, you really got to the heart of the matter. And that heart of the matter was for you. Like, you know what? I'm not overthinking anything anymore. I'm not over talking anything. I'm not forcing stuff that just doesn't fit. It is what it is. Relationship over, whether it's family member, love interest, whomever. Relationship over. I'm done. I'm moving on. Yes. You got to the heart of the matter. Yes. Let's put an Oracle card. I'm loving this spirit for you all. You know why? Because again, you all are um jewels to the universe right you all are jewels to the universe the quicker a person gets to know what your mission is in this planet um in this realm virgo the better off that they will be able to interact with you and understand just how valuable you are to everybody's lives you all are very practical and analytical you have an amazing ability to see every detail and do the best job possible yes so that is why I, I've been telling y'all this for months. I've been telling y'all this since last year. Everybody needs to have a Virgo on their team. Virgos, for you, if you have people, if you are, you know, working alongside other fellow leaders, because you're not working for anybody, you're working alongside other leaders. If you're working alongside other leaders who see you as a threat, and I'm talking about my high vibration Virgos. Let me just be crystal clear when I say this. If they see you as a threat, then you know, go ahead, do yourself a favor and remove yourself from the equation because it's never going to work out. I'm just trying to help y'all. I'm just trying to help y'all just be free. Okay. Yeah. So this is about you balancing perfectionism um, with um, enough time to just kind of sort of, um, ooh, look at these cars flying out. This is you balancing, because you all are perfectionists, right? I want you all to balance it out with just, um, just knowing that things are working out in your favor. Everything that works out is working out in your favor. That's the whole purpose of life. Everything is just working out in everybody's favor. But some people, when they see things and the way that it happens, they're like, oh, I would have chosen it to happen differently. Yeah. Sometimes we do, we do choose, we would like to choose things to happen differently. But when you really look back at how things happen in your life, you're like, okay, I don't know that I like how it happened, but I'm glad that it actually did happen. When you see how you, where you are right now. Yes. Let's see what this Oracle cards have to say. Like I said, this is a new deck. These are the Earth Magic Oracle cards by Stephen D. Farmer. So let's see. DNA. Didn't I just say karma? People create the karma that they... Mm -mm -mm. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something, Virgos. Go with your first instinct when you're dealing with people in general. Seriously. We're not talking about who you use. See, let me tell y'all something. Let's, let's just talk for a second. Sometimes people really mess themselves up by going off of what other people did to them, right? Okay, let's say, for instance, you... um. Let's say, for, for instance, somebody reminds you of an ex who hurt you, right? You meet this person, and they can look like an ex, right? Because a lot of times people will date the same. You'll see, like, let's say, for instance, you're talking about, you, like, log online, and you see a celebrity, and they are dating pretty much the same type of looking woman or the same type of looking guy, whatever. You cannot judge a book by its cover, you really have to listen to your intuition when it comes to, and also part of that, because it, it goes so much deeper. Part of that is when you're hurting, you have to heal however long it takes you to heal because you don't want, okay, the next person you get into a relationship with, and it could be a family relationship. It could be a romantic relationship or a platonic relationship. You don't want the next person that you meet or come in contact with to pay for some snake Pay for what a snake did to you, okay? You don't have to overthink this. Listen to your intuition, right? 
And also, listen, look and see what, what people are consistent. Are they consistently good people? Great. Are they consistently inconsistent? Now you got your answers. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to spend too much time on this reading because I don't want to bore you all after a while. <laughs> And again, if you all want a personal reading, please contact me via my website and a Virgo put together the website. So, you know, the website is the bomb. So again, you know, let karma handle people really seriously. Let them create their own karma. Really. We are all creators. Let them create their own karma. Eventually, even if it's in their DNA to be a snake, right? Eventually, they will either disconnect from their families or whoever else that they were conditioned to be snakes and they will they will um really receive help that's the whole purpose of karma is to help people to ascend right but it doesn't feel good to people on the bad end of karma they don't even realize they create their own bad karma so they want to blame everybody else so again i'm not going to spend too much too much time on this particular reading but again for you all listen your ruling planet is going retrograde. I want you all to just relax. I'm serious. You know it's coming. It's like knowing a storm is coming. And what do you do? You prepare for the storm. You don't just stand outside and get blown away. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't know it was coming. You know it's coming. So I want you all to understand that there could be some miscommunication, some misunderstanding or whatever from people in general. Don't overthink it. Right. If you're dealing with the person who is consistently good, they could have some stuff going on in their lives. So it just is what it is. But if you're dealing with a person who has shown you over time, Virgos, that they are just consistently inconsistent, their behavior never matches their words. It's just that they, they just, you know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. You just let karma deal with it. And I'm talking about the karma that they create for themselves. But that is what I have for you. But in your DNA is good karma good karma in your DNA. So just always expect good to happen for you, Virgos. Always, always, always. That's what I have for you, Virgos. Have a great day today. But then again, I know you will because that's the intention you said. Bye.